world of colors. I'm colors. I'm back from my summer break now, and I want to do a little video this morning with a witch called Matilda. And here she is. She's a sock gnome. Really easy to put together. This is what she looks like. She's got a lot of details that I got at the Dollar Tree. And you'll be wanting to get those supplies pretty quick. I see the Dollar Tree's got have their Halloween supplies out now. Also, I wanted to show you today how I come up with this display stand to put your gnomes on, not just Matilda, but all your gnomes. You can make them in different colors, and we're going to go over that today, too. So I've got her on her stand with a little Halloween tree next to her and a spider. And that's how I have her set up today. And I'll be back in a moment to tell you about the supplies that we're going to use to make her. So this is what we're going to need to make Matilda. We're going to need these little signs. We're going to use one, the Witch's End sign. This, these are from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna need some of the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin stick sticks from Dollar Tree. We're just gonna use one of those. A purple pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. A purple witch broom from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a package with several in the package. We're gonna use some of these bat stickers from the Dollar Tree. And the one spooky little scene like this of stickers that have the little boo in there for the hat. We're just after that little boo sticker. We're gonna use some of these tinsel stems from the Dollar Tree. I got these junction, juncture uh, socks from the Dollar Tree in black. And I'm gonna use just one of these, these socks from this package of four socks. And then we're gonna use some of these seven inch hair rollers in green from Dollar Tree. We need from the, uh, the Halloween bell door hanger, I got this bell here that I'm gonna be using from Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna need a purple bat from the Dollar Tree. A little package of six or so com that comes in. We're gonna use uh, some purple fur for the hair. We're going to need a four inch by eight inch piece of the purple fur. And then from Joanne Fabrics, I got this glitter specialty fabric. And we're going to use that for the cape. And that's going to be a seven inch by nine inch piece of that. And then for the hands and the head, and the nose, I took my wooden balls, these are half inch wooden balls, and I glued them to a paint stick that you can buy a package of paint sticks, like 12 paint sticks in the package, pretty reasonable at the home stores. And I glued them slightly to the stir stick, and that's how I paint them so that the paint's not just everywhere. It's a lot easier to do it like that and just pop them off. You see I've already popped a couple off uh, when you do your project. And I did the same thing with the two inch wooden knobs. And balls. And you do that on, and that, then when you're done using the stir stick and you're all done with those balls, just go ahead and use it again. You can flip it over and use it. You can use it on the same side. You can really use that stir stick for a pretty a lot of your projects. And then you want to use the testers, cactus color green, and their acrylic craft paints. We're going to use some one ply jute. We're going to use uh, the witch's hat from the Dollar Tree. Some polyester fiber fill some rubber bands, and some flat marbles, and your glue gun, your glue stick, and your scissors. And that should be all you'll need. So we'll be right back to get started. First thing you want to do is take out your black socks, and we just need one. 
and you want to cut it right where the ridges meet the bottom part right there. Like that. We are going to be using the top piece. So you want to take the bottom piece and get your marbles. You want to put enough marbles in there that it'll be able to stand up. test it out like, like that. Looks like it's pretty good. So then we want to go ahead and put some polyester fiber fill in there. You just want to pack it pretty good till you get to the top. And then we'll fasten it with a rubber band. So I'll be right back with you. Now I filled it all the way up to the top and I put a rubber band on it. And now we would take our one ply jute and tie that around to secure it. And I'm going to cut this down just slightly, even it off here, like that. And then the next thing you want to do is take and put your two inch head, this will, this will be the head on this gnome, just pop that off your stir stick, and then you just glue that part. Right on the front here. And I'll let that set up. Then you just want to take out the top part of your sock and cut that right in half. And then we're going to take them and turn them the wrong side out. Like that. Come kind of close to the edge. Fold that right in on the glue like that. I'm going to do the other one and I'll let it set up and I'll be right back with you. What you want to do is, now that you have that set up, is to go ahead and turn it right side out. We're making the, the arms here, the sleeves. Like that and then you want to slide your green roller in there and take a rubber band and wrap it at the end and take your one ply jute and tie that off And then is what you want to do is take one of your half inch wood balls that you've painted green. I just pop it off that stir stick. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue that to 
on the roller so we'll have a hand. So you just want to glue it right on the end like that. And I'm, I'm going to need to let that set up. So I've got the hand glued on here. And the next thing you want to do is to take half of a, one of your tinsel stems. And we're going to wrap it around here. Makes kind of a, like a little glitter bracelet. And hides uh, where we glued it on there. So I'll get that wrapped on like that. And then that that's how you make one of the arms. I've made the other arm here. Now I bent it. I've got this seam where we glued it on the bottom on both of them. And I've got them all ready to glue on. So as what we'll do is we'll just glue them on the side of the stem here like that. Get some glue on here. And glue them on the side like that. Now I'm going to let that set up and I'm going to glue the other arm on. And then I'll be right back The next thing you. we want to do, now that we have the arms on like that, is go ahead and put the cape on. So you want to take out your cape and go ahead and just kind of gather it together like that. And put a rubber band around it. Kind of loosely. And then we're going to glue it right in the middle of the back of the arms. Right in the middle here. We're going to glue it in there like that. I'll let that set up. We've got the cape glued on, and the next thing we want to do is go ahead and put the fur for her hair. So you want to take out your 4 inch by 8 inch piece of fur, and then we'll just kind of fold it in half like that so we can get the center, and we want to start gluing it right to the back here. Just glue it right on like that. You're just going to kind of hold it down in place. So I'm going to find the center. Put some glue on the back here. And we'll let that set up. We've got that front set up. You want to take the back of the hair and lift it up and put some glue on the mechanic part of it. You don't want to you don't want the hat to be flopping when you glue it down onto the hair. So you want to make sure your hair is secured good on there. So we'll glue that on there. And then we'll turn it around. And we'll take our hat, we're going to put it on just like that, 
So it's what we're going to do is put some glue right where the buckle is and then right on the back in the same spot and set that right in place. And we'll give that a couple minutes. Now we're all set here on the front and the back and we need to go ahead and drop some glue on the sides, right on the brim on the sides. Like that. I'm gonna hold that down a, a minute or so. got the hat glued on the, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and put on the nose so we'll pop that off our paint stick like that and we want to put the nose snug up to that hat right in the center there And the next thing we're going to do is get out our broom and we'll glue the broom. We're going to go through the arm like that and then through the hat with the broom like that. So I'm just going to put some glue behind the broom here. And then hold that in place and let that set up. So we've got the broom glued on and the next thing you can do is take a bat, it's a medium sized purple bat and I use this to kind of make maybe a necklace or a collar right underneath her head right there. Hopefully I got that on straight. I did glue this one here, although they're, that's quite sticky. And then you want to take the boo sticker, the little wooden boo sticker. And I take the, we don't want to see the white little sticker part come through there. So I just take that off like that and I'll glue this. onto the hat like that and then you take your one of your pipe cleaners the one that we have left and just kind of twirl it around the top of the witch hat to kind of give it its own personality and what I do is I I fold that in like that and just tuck it right into the hat and just wrap it around like that and then just fold it in again and tuck that end of it right into the hat like that. And then I go back and make sure it's straight. There we go. And then for the top of the broom, we take the bell and put a little glue on that. And just glue that on there.
like that, and then we'll glue the bat on. And I'll hold that for a minute. So the next thing that we want to do is put the sign on. And it's what I did was put it right over the arm like that. And we're going to glue it right onto the broom. So I'll just put it over there for a second. Get some glue on here. And just glue that right up, not too low, so that she'll be able to stand okay. We're going to glue it onto the broom and then on. Uh, Go ahead and glue it onto the body as well. So I'm going to let this set up. And then I'm going to put some glue behind the sign right where the body is. And I'm going to let that set up. And then I'll be right back with you. So we've got the sign glued on. And the next thing we want to do is the pumpkins. The jack-o'-lantern and the pumpkin. We'll just take the jack-o'-lantern off the stick. And... We're going to glue it right here on the side. So I'm going to put some glue on the side here. And then glue it right behind the sign here. I'll let that set up. And then I'll glue the purple pumpkin behind him. That's all there is to making little Matilda. I added the little spider on here as well for color. And that's how she looks. And I wanted to tell you about the little stand that I have her sitting on here. You just want to take one of these shapes that you get at Dollar Tree and glue four of these two inch wood balls on the bottom and then paint it all up. I've used the Tester's Craft Paint in purple for this Halloween witch. And this is how it turns out. So you can make these for even your large gnomes these stands and it makes them stand out a little bit more when you put them on there and then you can put your accessories around there so just wanted to tell you about that today and I'm glad you spent this time with us if you like this video make sure to like it and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe